Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make uh, a sponge cake with a mascarpone and passion fruit uh, filling. So two layers of sponge cake which are quite easy to make and then uh, a mascarpone cream with some uh, fromage fray or some natural yogurt uh, whisked into it and then some passion fruit added into that. Um, I'm going to use the juice of, uh, from some passion fruits, but you can use the seeds as well if you want to. Uh, and when I go on to the ingredients, I will include the amounts, including the seeds, but by the time I use mine, I will have taken the seeds out. So um, it's a fairly straightforward recipe, and I start off by preheating my oven to 170 Celsius, 150 Celsius with a fan, 325 Fahrenheit, and I have greased um, two 8 inch 20 centimeter uh, sponge tins or sponge cake tins and I've lined the bases with parchment paper. So I'll go on to the ingredients and for this I have 200 grams which is one and one third cups based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup of self-raising flour. That's flour which already has a raising agent in it. Now if you don't have uh, self-raising flour and you've only got plain flour you can use the same amount of plain flour and perhaps add in uh, one and a quarter or five grams of um, one and a quarter teaspoons or five grams of baking powder into your self-raising flour. Now in addition to that self-raising flour I do have four grams one teaspoon of baking powder. I have 200 grams which is 14 tablespoons plus one teaspoons of uh, unsalted butter, which is softened. I have 200 grams, one cup of caster sugar, four medium eggs, which would be large in the USA. And these four eggs, out of interest, out of their shell, they weighed 193 grams. I have five milliliters, one teaspoon of um, vanilla extract and if necessary I may use just a dash of milk I'm not including in the uh, ingredients at the moment because I don't know that I need it so that's for the cake batter and then for the filling I have 250 grams which is nine ounces of uh, mascarpone I have 200 milliliters uh, which is a half a cup plus a third of a cup of fromage fray, which is um, a very low fat uh, cream cheese type mixture. If you don't have that, you can use the same volume of natural yogurt. That will work perfectly well. I have five milliliters, one teaspoon of vanilla extract and 12 and a half grams, one tablespoon of caster sugar. And then in this dish, I have uh, the seeds, the pulp and the juice from six passion fruits. Now, to, out of the, the, the shell, that seed, pulp and juice weighs 125 grams, which is three quarters of a cup. Now, I'm going to use this, the juice and the pulp and I'm going to remove the seeds. But you can, a lot of people leave the seeds in. Um, they, they like it like that. I'm going to remove mine, but I'm giving you the weights and the volumes with the seeds included. I also have uh, some caster sugar with a strainer, uh, and that's to sprinkle over the top of the cake once I've assembled it. So the first thing we need to do is to mix our cake batter and get the cake in the oven to bake. And just before I'm... Uh, make the batter I'm going to put my baking powder into my flour and I'm going to stir that around and then put that to the side so I'm going to put my sugar and my butter into the bowl and then I'm going to add in 
the eggs and the vanilla extract and then the final thing to go in is the flour with the baking powder and I'm going to sift that in So that's everything in the bowl together and I'm going to mix that with my hand mixer but you can do it by hand um, until it's all combined but I'm not going to over mix it. And I've mixed that for no more than a minute. It's just to make sure that everything um, gets incorporated. And then I'm going to divide that into my cake pans. So I'm going to divide it fairly evenly. Into the two pans. And you can weigh this if you want to, to make sure you have equal amounts. So I've divided mine fairly evenly and I'm just going to spread that out over the base. So they're fairly evenly spread. I'm going to put those into my preheated oven and I'm going to bake them for between uh, 30 and 35 minutes. Uh, and they should rise up quite nicely and be springy to the touch and they should start to come away from the edge of the pan. It's very important of course not to open uh, the oven when you're baking uh, sponge cakes until at least three quarters of the way through the baking time. Um, so I won't open my oven at all until at least 30 minutes and then I would test them at 30 minutes and if they're springy and uh, coming away from the side I'll take them out. If not I leave them for a further uh, two or three minutes until they are. Then I'll take them out um, and leave them for five minutes before I turn them out onto a wire rack to cool completely. And at that time um, we'll be ready to assemble our cake. So I'll come back um, in the meantime and we'll make our um, mascarpone and passion fruit filling. My sponge cakes are baked and I baked mine for 30 minutes. I left them in the tin for five minutes then I took them out and put them onto a wire rack like that. So I'm just going to set those to the side and I'm going to mix together the ingredients for the filling. So I'm going to put my mascarpone into the bowl and I'm going to use my hand mixer but I'm not going to mix it very much and you can do it just with a hand whisk would work fine and I'll add in the fromage fray or the yogurt together with my vanilla extract and my little bit of sugar then I'm going to whisk those together And 
as you can see, that's whisked up very, very quickly, very nicely. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, passion fruit juice and I'm going to stir some of that through. And I've taken about two thirds of it. And I'm just going to stir it through. It doesn't have to be whisked in because it's nice to get some of the mascarpone and then some of the passion fruit flavour as well. So that's all I'm going to do with my filling and I'm actually going to put that into the fridge and I'm going to chill that just while I wait for my cake, my sponge cakes to cool down completely. My cakes have now cooled down and I've put one on a plate um, upside down and I'm going to take about half of my mascarpone filling and just spread it over the cake. And then what I'm going to do, and you, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to take some of the remaining um, passion fruit juice, and I'm just going to dot it on. Like that. And I'm just going to Give it a little bit of a mix. Like that. And then I'm going to put the remaining filling on the top and spread that over as well. like that and I'm going to simply make some lines and trickle just a little bit of the juice like that. Now you could if you wanted to brush some of the juice onto the um, remaining cake layer, turn that over like that and then just take a, a brush and just brush a little bit on. This is just to intensify the passion fruit flavour if you want to. And as I said, I whisked my um, pulp juice and seeds 
and then push them through a strainer so that I just have the juice. Um, but you can certainly use the seeds as well, if that's what you want to do. So then having brushed some of that on, I'm going to simply place that second layer on the top like that and press it down. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to sprinkle over a little bit of caster sugar. You could use icing sugar. And that's ready to serve. And with the cake sliced and uh, ready to taste, it looks like this, so it cuts quite nicely. And I'll have a taste of this rather large slice here. Mm. has a lovely soft texture to the cake perfectly baked and then that um, creamy mascarpone um, filling with the passion fruit giving just that little bit of tartness to it fruity tartness very very good indeed so this is actually quite a simple recipe and it's a nice variation to the more traditional Victoria sponge type recipe. I should say that this is one of those cakes that you will want to keep in the fridge because of the, the dairy content in the filling. Um, but I don't think it will last very long. So that's going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the recipe and if you have, please give me the thumbs up below and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there'll be an eye that you can click on and that will take you to a link for the recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.